Hello everybody. Um, type if you can hear me. Can everybody hear me okay? Hello, hello. Hi Natasha. Can everybody hear me okay? Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to get started. Perfect. Okay. So, um, Happy New Year to everybody joining me today. And a huge, huge thank you to each and every one of you for your support on all my social media platforms, my YouTube, and of course, the Chloe Bruce Academy, which is my live online training academy. Um, it's thanks to you guys that this is possible for me to do and it's my passion and my love and um, I'm just so grateful to each and every one of you for supporting me. So without further ado, I've just got a few things I'd like to go over before we get started, before we get moving. Um, the class breakdown, we're going to do a warm up together, um, a dynamic stretch together, followed by the main kicking class itself. And then we're going to finish with a static stretch at the end. Um, it's very important that we do in that order just for safety because I can't be there with you. And regarding safety, please, please look after yourselves. Okay, listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, stop. Maybe sit out of a certain part, just watch, observe, and then come back to it if you're feeling okay. Okay, but it's very important. Just listen to your body. Um, because I can't see you on the other end of the camera, okay? So all I can do is guide. Um, the class is built and structured around every single level. So I'll be showing all different examples, variations and modifications to each and every single move that we do today, okay? So every single person will benefit from beginners right through to elite. Um, questions before we start, if anyone has any questions, I will do a Q&A session right at the end. If there's any obvious questions I see coming up on the chat, then I will answer them just shortly. Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> hi Stephen, hi. Hi Becky, good. Okay, my screen is up there um, with the chat, so if you see me looking up there, that's where my screen is, okay? Um, other than that, grab a drink of water and have one nearby. If you need to have a break at any point, please do. I will also be giving water breaks after each section and a couple of breaths just to catch your breath back. Um, other than that, we're going to get into it. We're going to do a five minute warm up um, just to really warm up together. Um, it's really cold here in England. I've seen those people joining me from all over the world. But here in England, it's very cold and it's 8 p.m. So I'd like to warm up with you. So everybody on your feet and let's get started. Going to set the timer for five minutes. We're going to do a five minute warm up. And just go with it nice and lightly, okay? It's just to get the blood energy cut pump in, okay? Increased heart rate and to get the body a bit warmer before we get into the dynamic stretching. So I'm setting the timer for five minutes, three, two, one, and just nice light jogging on the spot, guys, let's go. Good. Like I said, I don't want you to burn yourself out here. Just take it nice and easy, just to increase the heart rate. Perfect, guys, good. Good, we have another 15 seconds here. So just nice and light on your toes. Perfect, guys. Good, good. I will be checking the screen every now and then, see if any of your questions are popping up, okay? But if not, we will do a Q&A at the end. Good, and moving on to the next exercise. Out, out, in, in. Okay, step out, in. Again, nice and light on the toes. Perfect. Yes, guys, hello to everyone just joining us. Let's get into the warm up, nice and light on your feet. Good. Perfect, guys. Okay, this time, star jump. So out, 
when you go out, your arms come up and down, your arms come down, okay? Out, in. Let's go, let's go. Good. Perfect. Good guys, keep it going, keep it going. This time we are going to start in the center. We're gonna do one star jump on this angle, come back to center, opposite 45, center, okay? So out, out. Let's go. Good. Just nice and light on your feet. Perfect, guys. Good. Good stuff. Perfect. Keep it going. Yeah, don't burn yourself out here. This is just a five minute warm up. Good, guys. Perfect. Okay, this time we're just going to jab back and forth. Okay, so bounce back and forth like so and then add in the front jab. So jab off the right uh, the front hand. Yeah. Perfect. And then feel free if you wish to add the jab reverse punch on the way back. So we're going to jab forward, reverse back. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. Let's go. Good. Keep it going, guys. Hello to everyone just joining us. Yeah. And switch sides. So just nice and light on your toes, bouncing back and forth. Good. A few more of these, and then we'll add that front jabbing of the front hand when you bounce forward. Let's go. Good. Perfect. Yes, guys, let's go. Good. Okay, now feel free to add the reverse on the way back, okay? So jab forward, reverse punch on the way back. Let's go. Perfect, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. We have one minute, 15 remaining of the warm up. Good. Perfect. Okay, this time we're going back to the star jump. We're going to star jump how? Back, and then we're going to go forward. So our legs split, our arms come up, back to center. Star jump, back, split, center. Let's go. Good. Like I say, it's very cold here in the UK. I need every bit of this warm up I can get. Keep it going, guys. Good. And back to our bouncing back and forth, light on the toes. Okay, what we're gonna do from here, is just bring up that front knee. Okay, like we're gonna do a kick. Good. Few more and change sides. Just bounce it up. Good. And bring up that front knee. And let's call it a day there. That's the five minute warm up complete, guys. Grab yourselves a drink, please, if you wish. Good. Like I said, I'm just going to check the comments. Good. <laughs> Perfect, guys. Well done. Very, very good. Okay, so we're going to move on to the dynamic stretching now, which we're going to do together. So we're going to slow the pace down, but really stretch out through the muscles to get prepared for our kicking session, okay? So let's go, guys. If you wish to grab a mat for this section, you can, but it really isn't needed, okay? So everyone back on your feet. And we're just going to start by circling our arms forward. Good. Perfect, perfect. I've just lost my signal. And 
swing your arms backwards, guys. Good. And this time we're just gonna swing, swing our arms back and forth. That's it, good. Keep it going, guys. And this time, one up, one down. So I've done some test runs this week. I've never done a YouTube live before. So this is my first time. So thank you all for joining me. And a few of the tests this week, my internet's gone. So I'm hoping and praying that we stay on for the whole 75 minutes tonight. Keep your fingers crossed me, guys. Good, okay, legs just over hip width apart, arms up like so, elbows in line with your shoulders, and we're just gonna turn side to side. Make sure you're nice and light on your knees, okay? And you pivot the back foot round as you turn round, just to protect the knees. Good. Side to side. Good, guys, well done. Keep it going. Perfect, a few more of these. And we're gonna, hands by your head, by your temple, go to a light squat, not too deep, just a light squat here, come up and lean over to one side, okay? And then again, light squat, come up, lean over to one side. Good, and continue. Training to do around four of these on each side. Good, get a nice lateral stretch here. And stretch, good. That's it guys. Really just loosen up the body in order to do our kicking session today. Good, and the next exercise. We're gonna take that squat as deep as you can. So turn the feet out to 45 degree angle just to protect the knees. And we're gonna take it down as low as you can, okay? You can even use your elbows to push out. I want you to hold for one, two. Place your hands down, come into a forward fold. One, two, then bend through the knees, slowly come up, interlock your hands and stretch, look up. One, two, and down, okay? We're gonna repeat that four times. Let's go, squat down, bend through the legs, come into that forward fold. Try and straighten through the legs. If you can't, that's absolutely fine. Bend through the knees, come up nice and slowly, interlock your hands, and stretch. Good, just two more of those. Bend, good. Now you fell over, good, lean forward. Straighten through the legs if you can. If not, keep them bent, and slowly come up. Good, stretch, 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 and one more, guys. Take it down. Good. Come forward. Try and straighten through the legs. Now bend through the knees and come up. Interlock your hands and stretch. Perfect. Okay, next one we're going to do. Bring knee to chest, okay? As we do this, instead of just maintaining a straight, neutral position, we want a slight bend here at the hips, okay? Really stretching through that front hip flexor before taking it down, reversing it, heel to bum, okay? Hold for two, and down. Let's go, four of these. Lean it back, stretching that hip flexor, and then switch it up. Stretching right down the quad here, and again, two more. Stretch, down, Heel to bum. If you need to stabilize by lifting one arm up, please do. Good, one more. Bring that knee up, down, heel to bum, switch it out. Perfect guys, and we're gonna repeat that on the opposite side. Knee up, knee to chest, slight bend here through the hips, just stretching into the hip flexor, and reverse it. Stretch through the quad, good. And again, three. Perfect, guys. Switch it out. Good. Two. Good. If your balance is about as mine tonight, feel free to hold on to a wall, guys. 
And last one. Good. And hold. Perfect. From here, we're just going to go into a hamstring stretch. So we're going to place one leg in front of the other, front foot on the heel, back foot at 45 degrees, and bending that back leg. We're going to walk our hands down. Here may be enough for you. If not, feel free to come down onto your shins or touch the toes if you can. Okay, we're going to come back up, switch sides. So aim to do around three or four of these on each side. Good. And change. Yeah, when you're at the bottom, just hold for around two seconds. We don't want too much of a static stretch just yet. Just loosen up through the body, getting it mobile enough to start kicking. Yeah, we'll just do one of those on each side. Perfect. And the last one, guys. Good stuff. Okay, so we're going to get into the kicking now. So we're going to start with the dynamic stretches, uh, dynamic swings, sorry. So what this means, we're going to take our kicking leg into the back, come into like a fighting stance like so, okay? Guard up. All we need to do is focus on a leg swing around 50% of your height, maximum height and maximum speed, okay? So from here, just need to really slow it down and back, okay? Just nice and controlled. A front stretch. Bottom foot, just twist slightly out to protect the knee again. Here and back. Don't come up onto the toes of the bottom foot. Let's go, just five. Yeah, and four. And three. And two. And one. Perfect, guys. Okay, this time we're going to chuck it right up. 100% height and speed. So from here, keep your legs in the back, exactly the same as what we just did. Take it all the way up. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. And let's switch legs, guys. Exactly the same thing, opposite side. 50% height and speed. One. Good. Two. Nice and controlled. Three, four, and five. Perfect. Are you ready? Let's take it up. 100% speed and your maximum height. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Who's getting a workout? Who's getting a sweat on? I'm starting to break out in the sweat, guys. That's good. Okay, this time, side kick. Now, side stretch, sorry. So, this one is really particular to me, and it's really important to have your heel, hips, head, all in a straight line. So, what we're aiming for, you can hold onto a wall, or a stool, or a chair, okay? And what you're aiming for is this, okay? So, if you're kicking in front of you, you shouldn't be able to see your target because your heel's there. Okay, you want a nice straight line. So, I want five of these here. Nice straight line down, okay? 50% of your maximum height and speed. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, guys. Okay, let's take it up. 100% speed and power. Ready, go. Two, three, four, five. Good, switch sides. Exactly the same thing, side kick. 50% of speed and height. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, and five. Good, let's take it up, 100%. Let's go, energy, speed, power, height. Go, one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Okay, this time, hip circles. So it's like an over-exaggerated 
ability to axe kick, okay? Or drop kick, some styles call it. So from here, your legs are gonna come up on the inside like so, and out, down, as wide as you can. I'll just show you an example, so here. Okay, we're gonna do 50% speed and height. Let's go for five. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Perfect, guys. Take it up, 100%. Let's go. One. Good. Two. Three. Perfect. Two more. One. And two. Good, switch legs. Okay, this time, exactly the same thing. Inside to outside, crescent kick, axe kick, as wide as you can, okay? Ready, and 50%. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Good, guys. Five. Perfect, let's take it up. 100%. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Grab yourself a drink if you have one nearby. Take a minute, get your breath back. Good, guys. I'm so happy to have you all here with me. Just gonna check in, make sure everyone's doing okay. Good, good, good. Oh, thank you all for your comments, guys. Yes, yes. Uh, Comrade City is my very first live YouTube, so I'm very excited to have you all joining me today. Um, it's my first time doing so, but not my last for sure. So if this goes well, I'll be doing one a month. So let's crack on. Um, Kicking drawers for today, okay? Up on your feet, guys, let's go. I'm actually gonna take my hoodie off. Build up quite a sweat. <laughs> Good. Perfect, guys, so I'm back in action. My top is off, we're ready to go. So we're gonna do something called kicking by count, which is so important for me and for my students that are trained underneath me, my private students, my one-to-ones, now I do this every single time I train, okay? It's called kicking by count. And what that means is we're just kicking in slow motion. So from here, we're gonna kick, bring our knee up, extend, back, down, okay? It's a way to practice good technique, Good alignment throughout the body and also get the coordination within your legs for the kicks, okay? So, first off, all I want you to do is bring focus on the knee chamber positioning of our feet. So, we're going to have our kicking leg in the back, like so, and all I want you to do is focus on front kick first. You're going to rotate that uh, pivot on that bottom foot just to a 45 degree angle to make way for the hips to come through and bring that knee chamber up. Okay, here we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one, and place it down. Okay, and then change sides. Exactly the same thing. Pivot that front foot, make way for the hips to come through, bring that back leg up, and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take it down. Side kick, we're gonna kick, uh, put our kicking leg in the front this time, and then we're gonna bring our back leg to meet our front kick, our front leg, okay? So from here, I'm gonna turn that front foot so it turns to the side of me. My back foot's gonna come and join. I'm gonna bring that front leg up in a knee chamber. There's my target, so that's my side kick, but my knee wants to be up in tight towards my chest, like here, okay? I'm gonna hold for five, Four, three, two, one. Good. I'm going to switch sides. Exactly the same thing. Till that front foot to the side. Set the back leg to meet the front. Bring that front 
kneel, knee to chest, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Very good, guys. Art of balance is focus, okay? So just focus on something in front of you that's static and non moving. Let's go again, roundhouse kick. So, in, there's a specific difference between roundhouse kick and side kick, which we will go on to in a second, and that's when you extend the kick, okay? Knee chambers can be kind of similar in a way, meaning your hips are in the same position. So my hips here are still in line with this front knee, okay? But my shin bone is facing towards you guys, facing towards your camera, okay? So if I just show from the side, from here, for round kick, my knee chamber is here, okay? Then I can extend and back. So, I'll be ready for five. Knee chamber, and five, four, three, two, one. Good, and we're gonna switch sides. Exactly the same thing, guys. Left leg, let's go. And bring that knee up for one, two, three, four, five. Good. Very, very good. Okay. We're going to run all those once more. Entirely up to you whether you want to stay there with the knee chamber or you can fully extend the kick also. Okay. So, from here, when I say one, you're going to bring that knee up and hold. You can extend for five or you can stay here for five. Entirely up to you, your decision. Okay, ready, and knee up, and either stay here or extend for five, four, three, two, one. Good, and back. Let's switch legs. Ready, take it your own pace. You don't have to do the extension just yet, okay? And if you're not quite there, Take it back down to the knee position, okay? So if you're like this, falling all over the place, take it back to here. Focus first, get the technique, get the foundations before you extend, okay? It might just be a week, two weeks, it could take you a month, but just take things nice and slow, get the foundations right, and then progress, okay? So, again, kick your leg in the back, bring that knee up, front kick, and either stay here for five or extend. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, side kick this time. We're going to do it the same way we did the knee chamber before. Kicking leg in the front. I'll show you from the side. So my kicking leg is in the front. I'm going to step the back leg up to meet the front leg here. Now this back foot is pivoted away from my target. If that's my target, my back foot wants to be pointing away. It can be on the 45 or it can even be all the way back 180. Okay, just really opens up the hips. So from my knee chamber here, you've got three positions before you get to the kick. Well, the kick is number three. So here is number one, stay here if you wish. You can then change to here to take your body back to that leaning position before you extend the side kick. This is two, you can stay here. Or three, extend and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Good guys, let's switch it up. Other side, and from here, bring that knee chamber up. Let's go. Stay here, you can lean, stay here, or full extension for five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff, very good guys. And we're going to make our way onto our roundhouse kick. Now, like I said a minute ago, when we were doing this round before, there's a clear distinction between a side kick and a round kick. And this is one thing that grates on me when I see people kicking, okay? So, let me just quickly go over that. So, a side kick is knee up here, and we're going to push straight out, okay? A round kick or a turning kick its name says it all. It comes around or it turns, okay? So it's from here, it's coming round like so, okay? You don't wanna, you don't wanna do your side kick like this and just pull the foot back and call it a side kick. Completely different ways of getting into every kick. So, let's go. Kick your leg in the back this time. We're gonna bring that knee chamber up. Remember, 
shin bone to the front of the camera. You can stay here or full extend. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Switch legs, other side. Good, guys. Ready, bring that knee up. You can stay here or you can do the full extension. One, two, three, four, five. Very, very good. Grab yourself some drink if you need one. If not, we're going to go on to hard, fast kick in, okay? So, we're going to start entirely up to you. I'm going to break it down into levels, so don't get concerned. Everyone can take part, okay? So, from here, one, level one, you just, every time I count, you're going to bring that knee up and down, okay? Now, watch how my hips come through. Even though it's a front kick, I'm not just doing this, okay? I'm bringing the hips through to get the power in the kicks. The hips, everything, the power in the kicks come from the hips, okay? So, the hips don't lie, guys. So from here, you're gonna lift the hips like so, okay? I'm opening through the hips. There is my power in the front kick, okay? So don't just do this. You wanna lift through the hips, lift the hips up. So, level one is this. Here, I've got my knee chamber, okay? Level two, you're gonna fully extend the kick. Entirely up to you. So when I count, full power, full speed, front kick, okay? Ready, and just five on each side. Let's go, one, good, two, three, good, four, five. Perfect guys, and switch sides. Exactly the same thing, ready, one, good, think about the hips, lifting through the hips, two, three, four, five, good, okay, moving on, side kick, sorry guys, just make sure we're all okay, <laughs> Right, so, thank you so much for your kind comments, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, moving on, side kick, full power, full speed, full height. So, we are here, my kicking leg is in the front, okay? Remember that distinction between round and side. From here, we're going to step up, front foot to meet the back. Level one, here. Knee to chest, okay? Guard up. Level two, here. Knee up. Lean. Okay. Level three. Step up. Kick. Level four. You're going to do the shuffle step. So if I'm here, my kicking leg's in the front. My back leg is going to sweep the front foot into the kick. So watch from here. I'll do it slowly first. Here. Back leg sweeps. Knocks that front foot into the kick. Here. Shuffles. Kicks. Just do one fast for you. Okay, so <laughs> hope you've got that, guys. So you are choice. You've got four levels: knee, knee and lean, extension, or the shuffle into it. Let's go for five. One. Good. Two. Three. Good. Four. And five. Very good stuff. Switch legs. Exactly the same thing, four levels. Your choice, taking in your own pace. Nobody can see you. It's the benefit of YouTube Live, guys. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five. Good stuff. Roundhouse kick. So, the distinction again, we're going to come round for that kick, okay? Turning kick, round kick, then you're going to be coming around, not out, okay? Just going to grab a glass of water, drink of water. So, turning kick. Kicking leg is in the back, my guard is up, okay? I'm going to pivot that front foot, pivot, pivot, pivot. See how my hips are opening already. So I'm here. 
Pivot that front foot, my hips are open, my hips move, my knee comes up, and then that's where the power comes from. Everything comes from your hips, okay? So from here, position one, level one, knee up, two, foot extension, your dress for five. Ready, and one, good, two, three, four, good, five, perfect guys, switch sides, and again, five more, same thing, level one, knee up, level two, foot extension, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, perfect, very, very good, okay, grab yourself a drink of water if you need one, if not, we're going to go on to multiple kicking and breaking it down, okay, so, I know many of you have watched my stuff before, see me do this kick, okay, so, Many of you can do it, we're going to break it down, we're going to work on the foundations. So, first thing first, my kicking leg is in the front, okay? Now all I want you to do is think about picking that front leg up and shuffling forward on the toes. So it's not a jump, it's a shuffle. So, I'm going to pick this front foot up, but at the same time I'm going to shuffle forward on that bottom foot. Here. Okay, so watch. From here. And pick that bottom foot up, shuffle. Okay, now that's my first kick. So here, shuffle, kick. Okay, everything works together. Just gonna change the angle to full view so you can see. So, everything works together. So, my bottom foot and this kicking leg work simultaneously. Every time I kick, I shuffle. So it's here. See how everything works together. So what I want you to try and do is have a play around at home, in the gym, wherever you are in the world, and just work on going through the numbers. So start at maybe one. So from here, just pick up that back foot. Don't worry about the kick for now. Pick up the front foot. Here, one. Okay, then try two hops. Here, pick up that front foot, one, two. Okay, and again, pick up that front foot. We're gonna go for three this time. One, two, three. Okay, you can try some on the other side. Let's go for four. Just play around at home. One, two, three, four. Okay, and five. Knee up, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, just play around, play around. If you're already in the foot extension, please do the foot extension. And your exercise for today is to go from one all the way up to 10 kicks on both legs, okay? I'm just gonna be playing around here so that people can see how I do it, and I'm gonna be giving tips throughout. But your exercise is, if you've never done this before, knee up, don't worry about the extension, just here, one, okay? And then two, get all the way up to five on each leg. If you feel like you've done the five and then you want to give the extension a go, please do. If not, full extension all the way. One, all the way up to ten. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then on the other leg as well. So, a few tips while you're doing that. Happy little drill at home. So, bottom foot must not jump. So you're not seeing me do this. Okay, it's just shuffling. And what I mean by shuffle, you're just lifting the heel off, here. Okay, the toes are staying on the floor at all times, guys, all times. Next thing, every time I shuffle, I kick. That's the only way you're gonna get the synchronization to be able to make it sort of flawless. So from here, every time I kick, okay, I shuffle. Use the power of the kick to just take you off your feet, to shuffle you forward. And that ground, that standing leg has to keep up. Okay? Play with it. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. I'm going to give you two more minutes. Good. 
I'm going to check in, see if the comments are going well. If anyone's got any questions, good. Oh, my Adam's online. <laughs> good, good. Perfect, guys. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that you're learning from me. Like I said today, there's people supporting and joining in from all over the world with different levels. So I've had to make today suitable for all levels, okay? We are going to take it up a little notch in a moment, but we're still going to keep the levels and the foundations so you can choose exactly the way you want to train, okay? That's the beauty of the system, right? Good. Everyone's learning. Everyone's evolving. Good. Okay. So, guys, put it a day there with that session, and we're going to move on. So that's something that you can take away and practice at home. We're going to go on to a different version of multiple kicking, which is stationary, working on the different angles and different levels of our kicks, okay? Now, guys, with this one, have an open mind. We're all from different styles, different backgrounds. There's so many different styles of martial arts out there. Just have fun with it today and play, okay? If, you're not, if a certain kick isn't the way your style does it, it doesn't matter. Let's all just join in today, kick, be happy, and kick in the new year, okay? So, what we're going to do, level one, we're going to work on this kick variation. Front kick to round to side, okay? But we're going to take it down even lower for level one. So... Level one, if you've never placed kicks together before and done multiple kicking, I just want you to focus on the footwork and the knee work, okay, the chamber. So, from here, position one would literally be the front kick knee chamber, right? So our first kick was our front kick. We're going to bring that back leg up for our front kick. So we're going to go here, okay? This is level one. Knee chamber up. Look at my base foot, it's turned. So I'm here, pivot that front foot, make way for the hips, hips come through, followed by the leg, okay, into that knee chamber. Now which kick is next? It's my roundhouse kick, so I really need to get the hips over. So from here, I'm gonna lift the hips first, switch and chop, okay? So you're gonna chop everything over for the knee chamber for that roundhouse kick. And now where am I next? I'm a side kick. So technically I'm already lined up for that side kick. I've just got to change the position of my foot. So right now I'm here for the round. I've just got to change slightly here, okay? For that side kick. All right, so level one is knee chambers. So we can all start here. We'll have a play around while I work through the different levels with you. So from here, I'm gonna bring that back leg up into that front kick. Change my hips for the round, foot for the side, just turn that back foot round so you're ready to attack. Okay? Then, if you find that easy, please go on to full extension. So, kicking legs in the front, you're gonna bring that knee up, kick out, back for the round kick, change, side kick to the side. Okay? So, that's your level one combo. Play around. With the knee chambers first, finding your footing, getting the foundations right, then adding the extension of the kicks. Okay, front kick into round kick into side. Make sure from the front kick into the round kick, really snap those hips over. So, intermediate combo. We are going similar, um, similar kick pattern. We're going to start with the front kick, round kick. So, intermediate version. You can still work the knee chambers. So we're going to go here, front kick into the round that we just did. From there, we're going to go hook and then take it down into an axe kick. Okay? So when you take it down, your foot can touch the floor. So watch carefully. I'm going to just do this one slowly. This is level two. So we're going here, front kick into round kick into hook kick. Take it down, axe. That's your combo for level two to work on. Okay, again, start at the bottom, foundations, knee chamber, footwork. Okay, on that supporting leg. Again, one more time. From here, level two. 
in for that front kick, out, get the hips over for the round. Hip is the same position for the leg, you're just coming round, big circle round, take it down at the end, up for the axe kick. That's level two. Come on guys, let's go, let's go. We have 20 minutes left of this session. So the advanced level three combination is six kick combo, and it's working different levels, different heights. So we're gonna go cross the body for a low side, or turning kick, round kick, um, back the other way for a side kick. So we're working these two angles, okay? So again, we're gonna go side, side, hook, round, low round, high. Got it? So, side, side, hook round, 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 okay? Now let's break that combo right down to the knee chamber work. So, we're coming across our body first, for here, which is, is slightly not, it's not really a side kick, let's do that one a round kick, okay? So it's coming across our body to here on this 45 degree axis. We're then coming back, side kick out, now this one is a side kick, nice straight line. I'm then bringing that knee chamber in for the hook kick to then go down for the round chamber up. Okay? So, across your body, out, hook, round, head high, low round, and then maximum height round. Okay? So side, side, uh, sorry, Round side, hook round, round round. Okay? Perfect. So, uh, you guys work on them combinations. You've got a few minutes left. And I'm just going to go over the, um, the kick drills that we've just done. So, all three of the different levels. So, level one, you should be working on front kick here, to round kick, to side kick. Okay? Level two. You should be working same two kicks, okay? Front kick to round, to hook, taking that leg down into your axe kick. All right? And level three, we're taking it up a notch, six kicks. We're going round, side, hook, round, low round, high. Okay? So, I'm just going to give you a few more minutes to work on those and then we're going to slow it down, do some real good leg conditioning exercises to really build the strength in your legs alongside the flexibility, okay? Many, many people ask me all the time, how have I got the coordination, the balance and the strength in my legs to be able to hold it 180? You're going to find out how, okay? So, so important to do leg conditioning work alongside your stretching and your flexibility. So, less 30 seconds of practicing the kicks we've just learned, then we're gonna change up and we're gonna go into leg conditioning exercises. If you're done in that session, that we've just done, okay, in that sequence, grab yourself a drink before we move on. Good guys. Very, very good. I'm gonna change this up. <clears throat> Perfect. Check in with the comments. Good guys. So some of these questions are quite intense, um, in depth questions. So we'll be going over these at the end. I'm going to allow five, ten minutes at the end just to do a quick Q and A session, just so that some of the comments are very good questions, and I'd like you to all hear the answers to those. Okay. So, wrap up that sequence that we just did. We're gonna go on to some leg conditioning work. So, grab yourselves a stool or a chair, or try and find a wall if you have one around your surroundings, wherever you're training today. It'll just make this session really easy for you. Sorry, scrap that, it won't be easy. It'll just make it a lot easier for you to even try these leg conditioning drills, okay? So, we're holding on to our stool or our chair or our wall. The first drill I want you to do is just legs, drills, swings up and back, okay? So you're gonna kick out a low round kick, 
and we're going to go nice and slowly all the way up to your maximum point and then down. Okay? I don't want to, I don't want any of you swinging it like this because you're not working the muscles. Okay? Sorry guys, technical issue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so back in the room. So I want you to really use the muscles. So kick out a little round kick. We're gonna come up nice and controlled, back down, okay? For five. Now normally when you're at home practicing these, I'd say at least ten. Okay? So five for today, just so you can go through the paces with me and the moves that we should be doing every single time we train. Ready, and one. Nice and controlled, up and down. Good. Two. You can place your foot down in between if you wish. That's it. Three. Really focus on the muscles you're using, okay? To be able to bring your leg up like so. Three, four, sorry. Yeah, trying to get an extra one out of you today. And five. Yeah. Perfect, guys. And switch legs. Same thing again. Five kicks. Ready. And nice and controlled. One. Good. All of these drills will really, too, enable you to be able to kick and hold your legs wherever you want. Three. Whichever direction, whichever height, will just give you such great control over your kicks. Four. Good. And last one, guys. Take it up. Good. Perfect. Very well done. Okay, so we're going to move on to our next conditioning exercise, which is a figure of eight. So, everyone can draw a number eight with a pen. Today, we're going to do it with our toes. Okay? Imagine you've got a pencil in there. We're going to do the number eight on a big board in front of us. So we're going to start here. We're going to come up through the center, up above, through the center, and down. Now, I'm just showing you that so you can see the eight nice and clear. You do not need to do it that big. Just go to your maximum reach today, okay? So we're going to start nice and low. We're going to come up through the center, up above, through the center and meet at the bottom of our number eight. Five of those. Let's go. Through the center, up, down, round. Good. Two. Good, guys. Three. If you feel it burning in the quads, in the glutes, you're doing something right. Four. Perfect. And last one, five. Try and slope right down. That's it. And if this is too much for you, you can do this with your leg bend. So you can come up, round, up, down, and round. But just remember, without the extension, you're not going to have weight in your leg. Okay? But if that's a start point, that's absolutely fantastic. All right? Wherever you are today, you're making progress for tomorrow. Good. Keep it up, guys. Three more. Nice and controlled. Good. Two more. Let's go. Let's finish on a high. We've got five more minutes of leg conditioning before we're going to take it down to the mat and stretch it out together. Good. Okay, next drill. We're going to do, actually, we'll do horizontal plank. So, but this one, I'm going to come right in front of camera. What you're going to need to do is to bring your leg back and forth on a horizontal plane to the ground, okay? So, you don't need to take this up high. You're just going to bring your leg across your body like so. Bring it across, out, okay? To your maximum point. Try not to drop the leg. You want a nice straight line, then bring it back again. Okay, this is really going to fire through the glutes. That's what we want. We need to get these muscles firing and working together, okay? So let's go. There and back is one. Five times, guys. Let's go. One. Push. Dig deep. We're nearly at the end of the session. Two. Good. Three. Four. 
Keep it up, keep it up, come on. Push through the pain, push through the pain. Five. Good, very, very good, guys. And like I said before, you can do it with your leg bent just to get the range of motion through the hips, but you're not getting the same use of the muscles because you've not got the weight of that leg, okay? Entirely up to you. Just start wherever you can today to give a better kick for tomorrow. So keep going, guys. Five more. Ready? One. Good. Two. Three. Push, push, push. Two more. Let's go. One. Good. Last one. Go. Perfect, guys. Very, very well done. Okay, so the next drill we're going to do is push through our maximum point of flexibility, okay? So you're going to extend the round kick out as high as you can. So if this is my maximum height for today, that's absolutely great, okay? If this is your maximum height today, absolutely great. Everything is perfect for your body, okay? So wherever we are today, this is my maximum height. I'm going to hold it there for two seconds and then push past, push past, push past. But on the return, drop it back to that maximum height. So let me show you, for me, for example, if I'm up here, okay, I'm going to push past that point and bounce it back, okay? So you get the idea, all right? Now I want you to do five of those in your own time. Try not to put your leg down. <coughs> Try not to put your leg down in between. If you really do need to, please take it down, come back up and start again, okay? I want to see five on each leg. Let's go, guys. Really dig deep. One, two, three, four, five. And then when you're ready and you've done your five, you're going to switch sides. Bring that leg up and kick out. Ready, and five pulses. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good, okay. We have one minute 20 remaining before we're gonna go on to our stretching. In that, secret, in that time, I want you to do the mountain climbers. So what that means, you're gonna lean onto a chair, a stool, a wall, anything you've got around you to balance on, so that takes out the element of falling and wobbling on this supporting leg, okay? We're going to kick out one kick, place your foot down. Two kicks, place your foot down. Three, and so on, up to ten. Then you're going to change legs. We're going to go from ten down to one. Are you ready? It's the last kick drill of the session. We have got 40 seconds left. Let's try and blast this one out, guys. Ready, and together, one, good, let's go, two, three, four, five, good, six, come on, let's go, let's go, seven, push you through, guys, eight, good, nine, And 10, 10 kicks. Last one. Good, dig deep. Perfect, switch sides. We are gonna start at our number 10, work our way back down to one. Let's dig deep, guys. Guys, the last session of this session, last picture of this session. Let's go, 10. Nine. We're working our way down. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Push, push, push. Five. Four. We need it there. Three. Two. And one. Good. Very, very good. Well done, guys. Grab yourselves a drink. Get your mat on the floor if you don't already have one or you don't need a mat, it's entirely optional. And let's get ready to stretch it out together. That 
Is that magic? Yeah, pit. Good. I'm just gonna change the camera angle. Good, guys. And tilt that down. Good. Perfecto. Okay, so if everyone would like to come down to the floor with me, I'm going to just do 10 minutes straight together. Well, good. So we are going to do a stretch down together. So if everyone would like to come down, join me on the floor. Mine is optional, like I said, or we'll find a space. So, we're going to come feet together, sole to sole, and bring our feet towards our centre body. Let our knees drop out and just rock side to side. Good. And you can move the hips forward and back in this position. Just find your body slowing down. Good. And then you can stay here, nice straight back if you wish. Just gonna get some bricks actually. <clears throat> Good. So guys, point of stretching. These little buddies will be some of your best friends, okay? So if you're not quite into the stretches that I get into on a regular basis on my videos, these will be your best friends, okay? So it's just like yoga blocks, yoga bricks, and a strap. And you don't need to buy a fancy strap like I've got. You can use a sock, a belt, a scarf, anything you can put around your foot in order to stretch better, okay? So, from our position here, feeding sole to sole, you can stay upright like so. You can use the blocks to come forward with your body, enabling you to keep a nice straight back. You can place the bricks under your knees if you're finding it uncomfortable, okay? And just allow your knees, legs to rest on the blocks. Entirely up to you, okay? If you're already down, your knees are flat, try to use your elbows in and then bring your body forward, like so. Good, guys. Very, very good. Now we're going to hold for 30 seconds. Good. Just slow the heart rate down. And while we're all warm, sweating, it's the best time to hold our static stretches. Good, guys. Okay, so from there, we're going to straighten one leg. Left or right, really doesn't matter. We're going to do both sides. Straighten one leg, opposite foot comes onto the inner thigh. And we're going to turn our body and our shoulders down towards this front leg. Again, like I said, if you're not able to get down in this position, feel free to use your strap. This is where this comes in handy, okay? Like I said, you can use a belt, a scarf, anything you've got lying around the house, and just pull yourself forward like so, keeping the leg nice and straight, and you've got something to pull against here. So you can come down. If you're already down, you can use the blocks to come forward. You can even use a block underneath to reach forward further than your foot, entirely up to you. And we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Here yeah, guys. Thank you all so much again for joining me today. My very first live YouTube video. I'm very excited. And my two year anniversary special. This time we're going to bring the inside leg over the top. We're going to lean towards the side where that foot's just gone and wrap that bottom leg around like so. We're going to lift the opposite hand over that front knee and then just take the gaze over that back shoulder, getting a little spinal twist here, stretching through the glutes as we do and hold for 30 seconds. Good. 
Nearly done, guys. You've done so well today. You should give yourselves a big clap for joining in. Good. Hope you've learned something. Drills you can take away and practice at home. Perfect. Okay, the leg is on the top. We're going to swing around. We're going to come into our pigeon. So back leg nice and straight. We're going to lift the hips up. If you've never done pigeon before, you might want to place a block or a cushion underneath you like so. So you can lift yourself up and here have a nice straight spine. For those of you that have done pigeon before, you can bring that front leg out and we're going to really stretch into the hips, into the glutes of that front leg and then into the hip flexor of the back leg. Keep that front foot flexed just to protect the front knee and we can stay here or you can come down if you wish onto your forearms or even further down towards the floor laying across that front leg, entirely up to you guys. Perfect. And hold for 30 seconds. Perfect. I think today may have run slightly. I just want to get the sequence done on the opposite side. Perfect, guys. Very well done. And relax. We're going to bring that feet in sole to sole. And straighten the opposite leg this time, coming into our one leg straight, one leg bent inside, leg into our foot into our inner thigh, sorry, and we're going to pull forward. Entirely up to you how you do it. Make your way down to whatever level you're at today. Entirely up to you. And hold. If you need to come back up and stretch at any point, please do. And then lower back down into it. Good. Ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Okay, this time we're going to place the bent leg over the top of the straight leg. Straight leg bends, curls around, foot towards our hips, and then we're going to take the opposite arm over that top front leg. Rotate through the body, lift up, chest up, and look over that back shoulder. Good, and we're going to hold here for around 30 seconds. Good. Perfect, guys. Hold, hold, hold. Good, it's so important to stretch it out after a good kick session. If you're anything like me, I'm constantly having to stretch the glutes. Good, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, take that top leg over, round the back, swing it round, get it strapped out the way, and we're going to come into our pigeon. So again, lift up through the hips. If you need to place a cushion in between, underneath you here, please do. Okay, if not, come down, flex through the foot, and we're going to come down onto our forearms, you can stay upright or you can come all the way down, laying your chest, uh, your body, sorry, over that front leg. Again, we're going to hold for around 30 seconds. Good. And hold. Hold, hold, hold. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Shake it out, guys. Come up. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I want you to come into your straddle. Good. What we're going to do, don't open up to your maximum point or middle space just yet. I want you to come into a straddle where it's kind of comfortable for you. And we're just going to work some hip mobility drills. So I want you to come in to a rotational circle with the hip, upper body and the hips, okay? And we're going to go into an anterior tilt with the hips forward and then put your hands back, posterior tilt, okay? So we're going to go forward with the hips and the body into back. I want you to do five circles, five big circles. Again, 
Try not to have your maximum point of flexibility just yet into middle split. You don't want your legs just that wide just yet. Good guys. That's it. And take it back the other way. Five circles. Let's go. All the way around. And take it back. Good. For two. Good. Perfect. For three. Round, round, round. Good. Take it back. Four. Good, guys. And last one. Perfect. Okay. Now what I want you to do is to come up into a crouch position. Okay. Or a low yogi squat. And we're going to place our hands down. Pop up. And we're going to take it down nice and gradually into our middle split. So, come up to here, pop it out, and then just slide your heel toe, heel toe to where your lowest point of flexibility is today, okay? And we're gonna hold. So if you're not fully flat on the floor, you should be holding upright right now, okay? You can place bricks underneath you if you need added support or a cushion, whatever you feel you need to today. And we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Good. Keep it going, keep it going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, sit it back. So if you're not on the floor, flat in your box splits, middle splits just yet, take it back, sit yourself on the floor and then open up as wide as you can. Good. Okay, what I want you to do is walk your hands forward. So you're gonna lock, rock your hips over, rock your feet over. If this is enough for you, stay here. If not, I want you to start walking your hands forward, okay? You may not be flat like me, really doesn't matter. Take yourself forward as far as you can. Stretch the fingertips, nice straight back, all the way to your maximum point of flexibility. And we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Let's go, guys. Good. Nearly there. You should be so proud of yourselves for doing this today. Very good, guys. Hold. Perfect. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, walk your back up. Very, very good. Bring your legs in and shake them out, shake them out. Very, very good, guys. We're just gonna do one more stretch for today. If you'd like to swing round onto all fours, one of your faves, I know, okay? And we're gonna come into a knee split or frog pose as wide as you can. Last one of the day, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Open up as wide as you can. If you're finding this uncomfortable and you've never done this position before, some people find it really quite painful on the knees, feel free to just do a half frog, okay, for 30 seconds and then switch sides. So in that case, you'd have one leg straight and then the other side opening through the hips like so, okay? Entirely up to you, but let's go. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds. It's our last and final stretch of the day. And last bit of this session before we do a quick Q&A session, okay? So feel free to post your questions in the comments and I'll get to answering as many as I can. Good. Hold, hold, hold. We have our final 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2. And one, very good guys. Okay, push yourselves up, tuck your toes under, push up into a forward fold, walk your hands up, bend through the knees, come up nice and slowly, one vertebrae at a time, and interlock your hands, stretch up. Good, give yourselves a clap for today guys. Very, very, very well done. Good, just gonna tilt this up slightly. Oh, there we go. Good, so, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough for joining in today. 
I'm not too sure how many people we had joining us, but we've currently got 208 members online okay, at the end of the session, which is absolutely fantastic. I can't thank you all enough for joining me today. Um, I'm just going to go through and see, see if there are any questions. Um, Hi Chloe, will you be making an appearance at the UK Martial Arts Show this year if it goes ahead? Uh, normally I always get down to the Martial Arts Show. Um, I, unfortunately the last few years I haven't been able to just due to filming schedules, but I should definitely be there this year if it goes ahead. Fingers crossed, I am praying for some normality back in the UK at the moment. For those of you that don't live in the UK, we are still under really strict conditions with due to COVID. So um, yeah, we're praying that this year is a lot better than last year. Uh, any other questions? Thank you so much guys for joining me. Can't thank you enough for all your comments and your kind words. Um, just scroll up, see if there are any. Um, Hi Chloe, would you recommend using ankle weights for your leg conditioning drills to improve kicking height? 100% yes. Um, I used to train with those all the time when I was younger uh, and still do. They just enable you to then, once you take them off, your kicks are so much uh, faster. Okay, so using the drills on your leg, uh, sorry, using the weights on your legs just will enhance your leg conditioning exercises and give you so much better rewards the other side. So yes, to ankle weights, 100%. Um, any, other, any other questions that I can see? They're all coming in so fast, I can't keep up. Okay, one second, guys. Do I have online training courses? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so uh, at the moment, my main ones are the 21 Day Flexibility Challenge which it goes through a beginner foundation seven day challenge, then an intermediate seven day stretching challenge, and then a advanced seven day challenge. That's a great one if you really want to improve your overall general mobility and flexibility throughout your whole body. It's a fantastic course. Um, I also have kick, kick tutorial packages, which are basically tutorials for all the different kicks that I do. Um, all the way from the front kick, side kick, round kick that we did today up to my speciality kicks, which is the scorpion kick, spiral, kicking round, uh, overhead kick, all of those kind of kicks. Um, the other one I have, which is my newest course and my favorite, is the Optimal Kicks Package, okay? Uh, that is the most insane six-week program that is only for the serious kickers that want to really improve and work on their kicks. It will 100% works. You've just got to put in the hard work, but it goes through every single session is like today. Stretching, dynamic stretches, into a kick drill sequence, leg conditioning exercises, followed by a 15 minute stretch at the end, static stretch at the end. But if you want it guys, the Optimal Kicks program is amazing for developing strength and flexibility at the same time within your kicks. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Thanks. Great. I'm hurting. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Make sure tomorrow that you stretch, okay? Have a rehab day. Um, anyone else? I'm just trying to look through the questions right now. That was amazing from Mike Turner at Genesis Gym, Paul Busby's Gym. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining in. Paul's a very good friend of mine. Um, Scroll up a little bit more. Um, have I watched Cobra Kai season three? No, I haven't. I haven't seen the last series yet, So their last season yet. I need to get on that, good reminder. But I love Cobra Kai, it's amazing. Um, yeah, any other questions? Someone's just found me because they were searching for Bruce Lee. Amazing. Welcome. I hope I weren't too disappointed. Um, how do you teach your child? Um, I'm not too sure if you mean my own children. I have two children. 
or whether you mean I mean uh, children in general. Um, children I teach exactly the same way as adults, but I just make the sessions shorter. So just to keep their brain engaged and the excitement going throughout the training session. If you're having fun with your training, then you're learning at the same time and that's the best way that you'll progress and um, advance, okay? So just make the training for children exciting and fun. Make, the, make them have to count out their kicks. Make them have to do kick pat, uh, patterns and hit targets, put targets on the walls that they've got to focus on to hit. Just make t training fun for them and they'll enjoy it and then they won't even realize that they're doing the hard work because it'll be so much fun for them. Um, yeah, so training children is amazing because that's where you can really train them and get the, the best out of them at, at such a young age. It's such a great age to start. Um... Someone seen me at a tournament back in the 1990s. Yep, I've been around a very long time. So I think that's it guys, I'm gonna call it a day there. Thank you so, so much for joining me and I cannot thank you enough and I'll catch you very, very soon. Thank you so much guys, take care. Live from England, UK, bye.